Well, we just had a serious motor vehicle accident. Well, a hit and run. A woman was, an elderly woman was seriously hit by a car and the car took off. So uh, this is what we have. It's right here at Morton and uh, Blue Hill. Or Morton and Deering Road. Oh no, no, actually Blue Hill and Deering Road, I should say. So this is what we have. Person struck seriously. Um, well, seriously head trauma, I should say. Right here on Deering Road. Deering Road and Blue Hill Ave. And you can see the where the pedestrian was struck on that area right there. Victor 958, I'll be making my way to uh, Blue Hill M1. Victor 958, I have that. So Blue Hill Ave and more. The woman is, is um, in pretty serious condition. She was unconscious in the ground when, they, when the ambulance arrived. Bleeding from the head, so. Hopefully she's okay, but she wasn't looking too good, but hopefully things are right. Charlie, kill one, can you take us off this pedestrian? You see where the, um, that's probably the belongings she was that. carrying when she got hit. They're saying it's a black Chrysler that took off. All black Chrysler that went down Blue Hill. It looked like it took her right on Norfolk. Not, not positive, but that's what it looked like. All right, do your thing, man. Dude. So, um... I don't know if she was, well, if she was in the street here, she had to be jaywalking, though. She wasn't, that's why I tell people, like, don't, don't cross the street like that. Because you don't know how fast these cars are going. And these cars can't see you. And unless you've got, like, a hundred yards between you and the car and you're moving pretty, pretty fast across the street, don't even take your chances. Like, these cars will not stop for you. You know, this is a prime example. There's all kind of hit and runs and these cars will not stop. So don't don't think because they see you they're gonna stop. So you see the car, you, you have the responsibility to stop. I mean, don't assume the car's gonna stop for you. I mean, you only can say this so many times. Look look both ways before you cross the street. Wait till the car stop. If the car don't stop, then you, you you should you should just wait. I mean, that extra five minutes or whatever is not worth your life. I mean, like for example. If I'm looking down the street right now, I see no cars coming, I can cross. Now, if that car is far enough away that I can get across, fine. Now, right now, it's too close, so don't don't, don't cross, you know. You, you should know how fast you can get across the street. You should, you should be able to adjust how fast that car is moving. So, look, now, you see no cars coming? Cross. Like, these are lessons that people should have when they were, when they were kids. I mean, I don't know how... You know, obviously these cars speed down here so when you know that these cars are probably trying to beat that light and they do it all the time I see it time and time again so if you know these cars are going to beat that light let them go uh, it's, it's, you know, that's sad that she has to get hit by a car but you know this, this is the reality of life you know, cars do not want to stop for you they will hit you and they keep going. And it's bad enough the street lighting is, is horrible. You know, I don't know if you guys can hey, see. Four, you're all set. The street lighting in this area is very horrible. Guy, he waited till the car stopped before he crossed the street. 
Yeah. Always wait till the car yeah, stops. Even though you're jaywalking, just wait till the car stops. That's all you gotta do. Or if they don't they acknowledge you, that you I mean, if they don't see you, that you mean, don't cross. I mean, that's what I say. I can't express that too much. So this is what we have. Um, looks like an elderly woman, or, or we should say an older woman, um, was hit, seriously injured, um, blood trauma, um, unconscious, rushed to, I believe she was rushed to Boston Medical. This is right here on uh, Morton, well, Blue Six Hill, nine, eight, five, going towards Morton, we should say. Engine four. Nine, eight, five. I just see this off. Uh, uh, good evening, sir. Take me off the route to that pool in Morton, please. So, this, so they made the, they made full notifications for this because of her injuries. So we're, we're hoping she pulls through, but um, the car took off. There was a black Chrysler, all black Chrysler that took off. The re I guess he was, allegedly he was speeding pretty fast. So he probably has front, front windshield or, or front end damage. They, uh, I guess they got it on camera when they made the turn down there, so. So this is what we have, you know, this is, you might, you might get a lot of news media that may show up because this, this is something that is newsworthy, so we'll see if they show up for this one. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, but. This is something worth putting on the news that uh, people are speeding throughout the city of Boston and the mayor is not really doing anything about it. And she doesn't even care. She's more concerned about um, propaganda techniques that she knows she can't do rather than anything else in the city. If you doubt it, you go ask her. What does she plan to do about the city of Boston? She has no plan whatsoever. Not even the slightest plan. Matter of fact, I don't think she even, well, a few people offered to have an interview with her and she turned them down. I just wonder why. They're gonna, they're gonna put some crime scene tape over there. No one's been over there, but only people who've been over there have been people who are in that scene. So this this is this is considered a crime scene now because the person did not um, stick around. If they would have stuck around, it would just be considered an accident. But this is considered a. Um, this is almost as if you did it on purpose, because it's, it's almost impossible for you to hit a vehicle and not hit a person and not realize you you hit a person. And you're gonna hear some kind of thump or something, so. Something's impossible for you not to know that. Delta 411, I'm Charlie Robert, time Robert, time. Okay, sir. So uh, that's what we have so far. Uh, they're, still, they're still trying to track down that vehicle. Trying to see if they can... Engine 4. All of these are operating all the way. Oh, see, it's, 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 it's mighty strange that the cars are driving slow now. They only drive slow when there's Something slowing them down, I guess. Bravo to one. Bravo to one. Show us L20 from the last. We clear the uh, RC. Leave us off. Leave no units up to the eye. 
I'm gonna step on that medium in a few minutes. As soon as these cars, like, I don't know if they're doing, they're dancing right there. They're driving real slow. As soon as they finish dancing around, I walk on the medium. I mean, that, you can tell it's a pretty good hit based on how the objects are scattered around and she was she was hit pretty hard so that car has to have significant front end damage and it'll probably be broken windshield maybe damaged hood or fender there's like a I'm not sure that's a mark or see that little mark there right? I'm not sure that's part of the so she might have been dragged about you know Charlie 910 Oceanora she could have been dragged about 30 feet if you know I mean, that's possible So the accident could have took place where that that arrow is, like right here. And then she could have got just moved down that far all the way over here. Very possible. Hey, what's happening, buddy? How you doing? All right, all right. Um, just so you know, the speed limit up here is like 20, 25 the max. Is there any sign saying the speed limit? No, this is no. There's no sign saying the speed limit up here. Usually, you see them posted around. Now, this so happened, this stretch doesn't have any signs posted. Um, but the speed limit is no greater than 25 in this road. Cause this is a thickly settled area, so it's, you know, like Truman Highway, I think it's like 30 or over, something over there. But, hey, what's up, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, good to see you. The closest intersection is Blue Hill Ave and Deering, Deering Road, which is where Lenny's Bakery used to be at years and years ago. Not too sure what they're gonna put there now. So they're gonna get the um, actually they may they may call the auto investigator out for this one too, even though there's no car, but. Uh, usually you need a car to really... Yeah, you need it. Well, you should have uh, a Victor car. Delta 109. Uh, yes, ma'am. Give me myself and the 112. Can you hold us off at that BHA in Morton? And do we have a 9 number? Yes, sir. The I number is 232-012-49. Oh, just a Give me one second. Sorry, it's 232-012-495. Thank you. So it looked like she was grocery shopping. I'm not sure if all this is part of her baggage that she was carrying, but some kind of debris, like apples and...
Bravo 431. 431. Ma'am, can we have to call the meters? Yep, bye bye. Tango 5 5. Tango 5 5. Ma'am, take me off in the traffic stop. It's on Harvard Street and Walk Hill with a Virginia Reg 5 Lima 1 Charlie Kilo Papa. It is a Chrysler and it has front end damage to it. That might be the car. Oh, that could be the car. 19X, code 19 BMC. EMC, sir. That just may be the car. Uh, yeah, uh, just give me units over here. Just, uh, it has, does have significant damage to it, and there's uh, a big mark to it. Harvard and Walkhill. Uh, Harvard and Walkhill. Can I have somebody meet him? I have to check that out. Oh. A couple of cars going to head over there now. So that's Harvard and Walk Hill, which is not too far. Not too far from where we are. Victor 966. Alright, Harvard and Walk Hill, the 111th in route. He's off with that vehicle. Harvard and Walk Hill. Okay, 6966 is in route there as well. One second, Todd. We got one in custody. We stopped the car over here on Harvard and Walk Hill. For the Bravo EDT, do I have a Bravo service car that can take that 1300 blue? I don't have any bats. Ma'am, Charlie 415, I'll be taking that 1300 blue. I'll let you know which street I'll be closing in one second, please. Excellent. Bravo 415. So they, they stopped this vehicle. Uh, they matched the description that hit the young lady on um, Blue Hill Ave. Um, driver is in custody at this time. Charlie, I'm on Walk Hill. Um, they, did, they did a pretty good job tracking that car down, though, because they were, they were definitely looking for that car. I'm on Walk Hill. Charlie, I'm on Walk I know they're going to have a unit down on the 1300 block closing Blue Hill Ave inbound. If you've got the unit, we've got a unit at uh, Blue and Landor, and then uh, we can divert anybody else that comes from these side streets. He's missing a whole... Okay, I'm just getting the Harry EDT. Yeah, get, he's got stuff on his hood, too. You see the Landor, spillage on his hood. So it's definitely probably the car. Or you just match that up with the stuff that's on the ground. Charlie, 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 Charlie. He's got some spillage from somewhere on his I'm hood. I'm sorry, it's him in garbled. Go again. So the audio okay. detectors are making their way over there. Four fifteen, I'll do blue inland door. Alright, four fifteen is going to be a blue inland door. Four fifteen, stay down the thirteen hundred block. We'll get another unit for land door. We need to have more than one unit because there's so many side streets. So just stay up yeah, there so where you are. We're going to look off. We're, we're going to put crime scene tape around the vehicle. That's definitely the, look like it's definitely the vehicle in question for sure. Just do me a favor, sir. Just look back a little bit, all right? Yep. Probably all the way up to the sign, okay? So it's going to be 50 feet in, in any direction. 50 feet. 50 feet. I'm counting. I'm seeing me counting, right? Uh, no, 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 you're good. You're good. I'm just following orders. No, you know? I got you. That's, that's my LT detective. <laughs> no, I got so you. you got to make sure I do a really good I, job. I, I know the routine. <laughs>
I'm still moving, right? No, no, you're good. You're good. I, I, I'm just trying to find some good anchor points and everything. All right, right on this fence right here. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm going to attach, the... attach it right to that pole, all right? I got you. Right. I'm, I'm going to hop around the other side anyway. All right, you're good, buddy. You're all right. good. All right, take care. Have a good one. Thank you, buddy. I'm not giving you... And you guys get a tough enough job as it is. Why, why would I give you a hard time, you know? Yeah, I really appreciate it, man. All right? Yeah, it's not that, worth the headache. That, that, that means a lot to me right now. When you guys, I see the stuff you guys have to do. It's not easy, man. Trust me. The stuff you guys got to do on a regular basis out there. You don't need a knucklehead like me bothering you, you know what I mean? I got you. <laughs> I'm across on the other side. So this, right now they're shutting down the whole entire Blue Hill Ave on both sides. They're going to be taking photos and stuff. Charlie Elf 81. <clears throat> I think Channel 7 on their way up there. Let's see what they got. So they're definitely going to, um, okay. We'll see if I hear it, uh, how to walk you. I've been in Wakula. Eight 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 five eight. I arrived on scene at um Blue and Morton. So they got two scenes now. They got Blue and Morton, and they got Harvard and Wakula. All the detectives are making their way over here now. Ma'am, can I get the CC number? Yes, sir. It is two three two zero one two four nine five. Thank you. I, I have uh, two Harry units coming over now. Do we have, uh, do we need them anywhere? Or should I just use them for calls for now? This is going to be, Boston has got a pretty, pretty busy day going on right now. They got a whole lot of stuff going on. So they're trying to, you know. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, Nine eighty two. Use them for calls. If we need them at the scene, we'll call them up here. I have a thing. Yeah, Bravo three is arrived. This is everybody's up here. Uh, I'm not too sure what's that. What's that on the back of that car? There's something on the back of that car too. I can't make it out. Nine ten. We're gonna make uh, Walk Hill a one way at Fotler, between Fotler and Harvard, just, uh, just so fire and EMS and all that notes. We're all on the same page. Walk Hill one way from Fotler. They're putting up the uh, crime scene tape so nobody can um, go in that area. Charlie 904 is Ocean Hour. Good evening. So this is a pretty, pretty hectic scene right now. So, I'm just, I'm just sure what that is on the back of that car there. There's something right. I'm not too sure what. There's something right there. Lateral 18, a central station alarm, 345 West 1st Street. Let's see what South that Austin. is. Lateral 18, a central station alarm, 345 West 1st Street. South Austin. Got a bus coming down. 1761 West 1st and East Street, 2216. So you guys get to see both scenes. You get to see the scene where the motor vehicle is uh, stopped. Big day, 7 -6. Can you take me off at BMCH? Victor 876, I have it. The detectives are pretty busy. They, they're trying to process like three scenes at the same time. They got one scene on Blue and Moore. Just let the T know about this. Um Stretch 
Harry 437 on three. Go ahead, sir. Ma'am, you can show me on route to the uh, three side to field call. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's definitely the vehicle that they're looking for. Charlie 910. Charlie 910. Yeah, I need a marked cruiser up at the Walk Hill and Fotler to uh, block traffic. Walk Hill and Fotler, do we have somebody that can block the traffic then? Charlie Delta 40, I'm at Walk Hill and Fotler. Just blocked it off. Charlie Delta 40, sir. So we're, we're, the closest intersection to us is um, Harvard. I don't know if you can see that sign says Harvard right there. If I can zoom in on it. So we're, we're at Harvard and walk here. Engine 42, Charlie 9 I think we'll need another one at Walk Hill and Elmore. Light. She's having difficulties driving. Like, pick a car that you can handle. Like, don't. If the car's too big for you, get a smaller vehicle. Cause she's, she's definitely having difficulty just making a, a right and a left. And that's maybe the steering wheel's too close to her body, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like that. Male from Street. They just took the, uh, the, 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 the well, I don't know if you call him a suspect. I guess he is a suspect. They just took the suspect and took him to, to, um, to. 2221. Fit to say he's, he's under arrest, so. This we have here. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. There's not much else you can see here. More likely that they towed the vehicle later on, but um, that's going to be later, later on. That's not going to be any time soon right now. So uh, I just want to give you an idea of what's taking place. Yeah, that's that's a uh, sad situation there. If you know anyone who's missing a dog, or if you see a missing dog. Harry 103 is on channel 3. Yeah. Yeah. I have it. Just uh, stand by dog. for now, ma'am. Going to be taking calls as they pop up.
So you see that dog in the area. I'm not too sure how long he's been missing. It says since 1623, so that's last month. We got it. Alright guys, I um, just want to give you an idea of what's going on in the city. I don't know what that thing is on the back of that car there. Look, look like it's on the outside too. Well, that could be the food that oh from the accident. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's the one of the items that was in the bag. That's landed on the car after he, she was struck. Engine 42, this came in from EMS for apartment 10 at 1990 Columbus Ave for a male inside the bathroom, unable to move. The door is locked. Okay, we're talking to the tenant now, uh, no issue here. Okay, you're talking to the tenant now, no issue. We'll see if we can get a better location from EMS. Engine 42, this came in from EMS for apartment 10 at 1990 Columbus Ave for a male inside the bathroom, unable to move. The door is locked. Okay, we're talking to the tenant now, no issue. We'll see if we can get a better location from EMS. Okay, this case, they can't make quite make up with that is. Alright guys, I'm going to head back over to the Blue Hill Ave in Morton Street side where they, that's where they're conducting a lot of the investigating over there. This car is more like it's going to be towed anyway, so. Still don't know what that thing is on top of that car. Hmm. Alright guys, I'll meet you guys back on Blue Hill Ave in Morton. Got the whole side of uh, Blue Hill blocked on the other side over there. She bought multiple bananas. I don't know. Yeah, 19X or the other cars are no, I don't think uh, maybe not. Uh, vehicle struck several. And now they're saying uh, it's further up the street. What's up, Richie? How you doing? The, uh, black... Engine 42, yeah, this, this is a okay. pretty serious, serious incident here. So I'm not sure how fast the car was going, but he had to be going pretty fast based on the, how much that stuff is scattered up. What the, what's this guy doing? What the heck is he doing? 
He's riding right to the crime scene. Yeah, I don't know how that car even got over there. He well, he had the if he came out of there, he had to see that the the, the tape was up. He had to, like, unless he wasn't paying attention. If you're not paying attention, that's another issue altogether. Charlie four three one, I'll be clear from Alma and Walk Hill. I'll be available for calls if you got anything pending. So, um, Boston Police is investigating a pretty serious uh, Copy, hit, hit and run. The woman was, um, we're not even sure of her status right now, but she's, she's in pretty bad condition. Bravo 102, you can show us there. There's a... Bravo 101. What's going on, man? One. You check on a party at 566 Warren Street, apartment number five. Uh, he was mumbling into the phone. Address is from an old EMS call. I know what he needs tonight. I'm trying to see like a walk around the whole entire um, area. Forty-two. Probably just give you different angles of the whole entire area. Take a quick walk around and so you guys get an idea like how much area is taken up. Hey, what's up? How's it going? All right. Oh yeah, it's not. It's, it's pretty cool. It's yeah, not, yeah. It's not the, it's not I mean, the it's best. Nice yeah, yeah. You have to do it that. If you do it the other way, it's not gonna come out right. Yeah, like I see the fights on uh, TikTok or whatever. Yeah. You have the camera on. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do it the right way. Do you have a YouTube channel or? Yeah, ex external affairs Porter. You oh, type in external affairs. Porter. Yeah. You, you see all the stuff they put on there. Some is good. Some is bad. You have yeah, to kind of pick. You're okay. You put the time in. Yeah. yeah. Is it doing the best I can? So Boston police are going to be taking plenty of photos. They're going to get. They're going to try to get every angle possible because this is pretty serious. Got a cameraman over there across the street too. I even got. A, I got a camera woman on my side over here, by the way, too. Which channel you work for? She works, she works with Fox 25. Are you, are you the only camera woman they have? So she's the only female camera woman on Fox 25. You gotta give yourself a plug.
if you if I go that way, if you I walk go it, in the street. Don't go on the street now. So what if I go that yeah, way? I'm going to try to occupy. Where are you? I think a hit and run. Oh, it's a hit and run? Somebody gay? I don't know. Mm, pretty oh, serious. You sure if I go that way? Yeah, I'm you going go on the sidewalk. How you doing? What's your name? Seven. Oh, right. Right, Laura. Right. <laughs> right. 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 How was your balance out there? It was good. Bring it back to your new year. How was your new year? Take care, have a good one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Boston Beach is going to take tons and tons of pictures. They got Blue Hill Air blocked off at the top. And it's going to take a lot of pictures out here because they got to document everything. So if anything else comes up, we'll get back here. Hey guys, catch you guys on the next one.